Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to Dharas Space Inox. Learn to innovate and create beyond space. In this video, I will solve a problem on shock expansion theory, frequently asked in in semester questions and even in gate. Therefore, I will cover the concepts, tips and tricks, alternative methods, and formula used. And if you have any requested video, do drop a mail and. right in the comment box as in this video i will share a detailed explanation video might get bit lengthy so but make sure to watch this video till the end because all the concepts will be clarified till the end and this question is taken from gas dynamics by dr e radhakrishnan 6th edition before solving this problem as all the gate aspirants are watching this video must avail the 7 days free trial for git and eac plus subscriptions only at an academy to avail this opportunity need to follow four basic steps first scan your qr code done second is register and choose as your goal maybe mechanical civil and other domain third activate using this code provided below and happy learning and you can start learning wish you all a happy learning of this gate and eac this offer is limited from may 13 and 16th of this year so make use of this offer on time and will not come again so register now and remember this offer is available for the first 25000 learners only so and don't forget to follow my profile provided in the description box let's look into the solution to this problem air with an initial mach number m1 equals to 2 flows over three sharp corners in succession having clockwise turning angle of 5 10 and 15 degrees respectively calculate the mach number and the flow angle after each of the three corners second part find the expansion fan and streamline distance from the solid boundary and they have given that take the free stream line distance d1 from the wall as unity as per the given question the initial mach number is given and with an having an clockwise turn of 5 degree so it will be like this with respect to the horizon now further we have another inclination around 10 degree from that point then further the third clockwise turn is around 15 degree as a turning angle of 5 degree deflecting downwards leads to happen an expansion shock wave and created a zone separated with a zone 1 and 2 moving to the second zone with another further deflection of 10 degree which creates leads to form a expansion shock wave and separated with a zone of 3 further deflected down with the angle of 15 degree and which will leads to form expansion shock wave what are the given data m1 is given all the deflections angle is provided and what we have to find we have to find the mach number for the m2 m3 and m4 uh, prandtl-meier functions so we can find out the flow angle for the first case so how we can begin so let's first consider the prandtl meyer expansion equation so in the first case if it is asking for two marks in your gate question or your n semester question you can make use of this particular formula and you can find out what is a prandtl meyer expansion formula otherwise you can refer otherwise alternative method is otherwise you can refer the gas table in an isentropic flow corresponding value of mach number 2 you can find out what will be the value of the prandtl-meier expansion for the zone 
or the region 1. Similarly, for the corresponding value of Mach angle also you can find for the respective Mach number. Or else you can make use of this formula, substitute the values, substitute the values and you will get the prandtl mayer function for the region 1. Similarly, how you can find the flow angle? This is a formula for the flow angle. And what is flow angle basically? From this horizontal flow to the first expansion fan. The angle between them is called as a mu1 which you can find using this formula. And just substitute the Mach number as it is provided and you will get to find what is a mu1 of the respective region 1. As I have said, alternative method, you can refer the gas table in an isentropic flow where the gamma value is considered as 1.4. Now further solution, I will be showing you how you can make use of gas table to find the rest of the region Mach number, the prandtl mayer expansion and the flow angle and rest of the things. So this is a data we got in the region 1. Now considering region 2. Uh, using shock expansion theory as between the 1 and 2 where the it is leads to have an expansion shock wave. So we will use this formula. So prandtl mayer expansion in the region 2 equals to prandtl mayer expansion in the region 1 plus the theta value. So when we substitute the value for the respective uh, zone and we get that prandtl mayer for the expansion of the region 2 is come to around 31.38. Now using the same value that is prandtl mayer expansion function, um, prandtl mayer function of the value of 31.38, the corresponding value of Mach number is that 2.187 which is roughly can be taken as 2.19 and you can use this uh, formula or else it is also available in the gas table for the isentropic flow of perfect gas you can note down the value from the gas table mu2 equals to 27.17 so now we get all the data in the region 2 now we will move to the region 3 to find out for the region 3, we will make use of the prandtl mayer function again. So what we can do, we need to find the, for the region 3, what is a prandtl mayer function. So again, as it is an expansion, so we will add the deflection angle, which is of 10. So whatever we got the prandtl mayer function at the region 2 plus of the deflection angle which come to around 41.38. Now referring the gas table for isentropic flow of perfect gas, the corresponding value of that 41.38, the value for the Mach number coming to around 2.6 and the mu value is around 22.62. So now we got the Mach number for the uh, sec third region as well as for the third region um, Mach number for the third region and the flow angle for the third region which is around 22.62 now all the data we have in the third region will follow the same step for the region 4 so we will again add the angle of deflection which is around 15 degree 15 degree plus 41.38 which is going to be 5.38 now in the case of uh, suppose in the given question they have given as that instead of expansion oblique shock wave so what we have to do is 41.38 minus 15 okay so if it is an as it is an expansion so we have to add the deflection angle if it is an compression wave or compression corner we have to subtract the deflection angle so again same step will be followed find out the corresponding value for this uh, prandtl mayer function we will get the value for the Mach number and the flow angle for the region 4 so you got the final for the first part 
what is the corresponding Mach number for each and every region for the region 2, 3, 4 for corresponding deflection angle, Prandtl-Meyer function and the flow angle. Now we will move to the second part which is expansion fan. So first to move what is expansion fan we must understand that what is expansion fan we have to find these angles of the zone between 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 4. What is the angle of this expansion fan angle? So what how we can find this expansion fan angle? First of all, we have to find this region. But we know that what is mu1? Mu1 tends from as it is shown in the figure. And we know what is a deflection angle. We know what is mu2. Right? So to find out the difference of that, that is mu1 2, that is expansion fan for between this 1 and 2. So we can find theta plus mu1, right? Minus mu2. Okay, we know all the value, theta value, which is 5. Mu1 value, we know, that is, uh, we just found 30. And mu2 is 27.17. So, likewise, we can find for the region 2, 3 in the same fashion. That is, this is mu2, this is mu3. And we can find mu2, 3, same as mu3, 4. We can find this is mu3 and this is mu4. Right? Using this formula, we can just substitute the respective values and we will get the corresponding value of expansion fan. Right? So, if we are getting the question and if some of the questions are provided like this, you can able to find out the expansion fan for the zone 1, 2, zone 2, 3 and 3, 4. Moving to the second part of this question, that streamline distance from the solid boundary. And they have considered, asked to consider, take free stream line distance D1 from the wall as UDT. So we will make use of the continuity equations and uh, rearranging this equation, we will make use of this. So we need to get a data of row 1, row 2, M1, M2, A1 and A2. So we have collected again from the gas table the corresponding for the corresponding value of the Mach number what is the row naught row by row naught and a by a naught for the respective region now we will make use of this in this simple equation now you can see d1 square by d2 square equals to sorry d2 square by d1 square can be formed by row 1 by row 2, M1 by M2 and A1 by A2. As I have said, it is an isentropic process. All the stagnation points are going to be same. So, we are just going to substitute the respective values and we will get this equation. And same, this follow, uh, this step will be followed up for the region 1 and 3 and region 4 and 1. So, after substituting, we get this respective value. Now looking for the final um, answer or the result of this given question. And let's study and let's understand the concept. As in this given question, we have an expansion shock wave of three dif four different regions. One, two, three, four. And we can see across the region as we are increasing the turning angle, we will lead to increase the Mach number. Further, referring to the prandtl meyer function, so as the Mach number increases, so the prandtl meyer function will also increase. Looking for the flow angle, we can observe that as drastically flow angle with increase in Mach number, the flow angle is decreases. That means they are inversely proportional. Flow angle with respect to Mach number, they are inversely proportional. Drastically, they are decreasing. Looking for the expansion fan, in this case it is increasing and for the streamline distance, it is also observed as the Mach number increases. So, the streamline distance will also 
increase so this is one of the concept to take away from this particular question so uh, this question this type of uh, question might be useful for your gate point of view soon i am bringing with more solutions so stay tuned to my channel for further updates till then take care see you soon